What is up guys, Klaus Next here. Today I wanted to talk about a simple solution to finger injuries. Now, the sport that I play is football and as you know in any position in football and you uh, you really need your fingers for everything. Especially as a D-lineman when you want to, which is what I am, when you need to grab and be moving limbs and doing a lot of maneuvering, uh, you, you really need your hands. So even if you lose one finger, which is the case for me, not literally lose, but lose the ability to use it, it really impacts your gameplay. And in my case it was the ring finger, which is a really tough finger to target, especially when the pain is in the joint. I'm not sure if it's a strain or a sprain, uh, because the pain among the muscle kind of went away and now it seems like it's just in the joint. And uh, I really struggle trying to find a way to protect it. And this video is to provide you with a solution for how to protect individual fingers uh, in your sport in my in the context of myself it was football so hopefully it's transferable to you so I'll be happy to know that the supplies weren't outrageous the biggest piece is this long finger splint and it looks really expensive it looks like it'd be like 10 20 bucks or something like that you know the uh, the medical industry but uh, this thing was only 295 I think and uh, as you can see it's very long but that's gonna work to our advantage so we have that. Uh, this is optional. I like using it and I need Pro Wrap for other things in football, but Pro Wrap helps uh, keeping your brace in place and then a roll of tape just to secure everything. Now the idea of this video and what I figured out is that you can take this brace and they're very easy to bend. So bend it in a way that it is, you know, around the halfway mark. Just like that. And then this is going to go, since I need to protect this finger, it's pretty hard to just single out this one, and that's not going to do my pinky any favors either. Since I'll only be able to really use these fingers, my pinky is going to be taken right out of it. So in order to keep this finger more secure, and when it comes to taping most finger injuries, you want to keep one finger attached to another one. So I've got the splint over the injured finger and the pinky finger, and as you can see, it's long enough that it goes to both sides of my hand. Now originally I thought that this this uh, the length was going to be an issue, but it ended up working to my advantage. Now I have, uh, well I had a wrist injury that I had surgery on, so I always wear a brace on my right hand, or the right side of my arm, which was coincidentally the same place that my injury took place. So if you were like me, and you really um, wanted to protect your finger and money was no object because you were passionate about your sport, could do what I did, pick up a wrist brace, maybe even a cheaper one if you don't actually have a wrist problem. But that way, when you have your metal brace, it goes over top, and now it has something hard to attach to. Before it was just on my hand, and it kind of dug into my arm a bit, but now when it's all taped together, this acts as one big unit. It's become one big brace, not just a little finger splint or a wrist brace. Now before you tape it all together, there's one thing you should notice, that there's a gap in between the fingers and the splint. So what you're wanting to do with the metal is start to form it in with your fingers. Bend the metal so that it kind of runs along the area of your hand. I kind of like to bend the edge down a little bit just so it runs down my palm easier. Just like that. The back side, it's... it's it's the straighter the better honestly because you're trying to keep everything straight and you don't have a lot of curves on the back side maybe just a little bit on the top here where your fingers are but yeah just like that now this is where I like to use Pro Wrap um, it's optional you can just go right to tape but I know that in the uh, like it's very cold in the season right now we're in November so the Pro Wrap really helps actually with warmth too but I use the Pro Wrap to sorry I know this isn't probably the best angle help me get this all in place first. And now once it's kind of held before I've taped it, I have a little bit of freedom with um, molding it and stuff. Now it's held in place without my other hand before I start taping. Now depending on the extent of your injury, you may want to get a piece of, um, just a piece of material to wrap around the injured area. It kind of bulks it up a bit and makes you look like you have a bit of a finger club but uh, I found that this really helped protect. You know, my sport with uh, football, probably in any sport, there's metal on the edges, and this helps hide that metal. Um, it, it covers the metal sides. It doesn't really cover the tip that well, but you'd cover that all up with tape anyway. 
If you're really concerned, you could be fancy and creative with your padding, but I've never had to worry about it, and the ref has never called me out on it. So, But again, I've done it with and without. The brace is really strong, but I play an impact sport, so this is more uh, protection from impact. This padding you get in big sheets. It's pretty expensive, so uh, you don't have to buy this exactly. I'll get, oh, I can't remember the name, but I'll put a name up on the screen when I remember what it's called. Any kind of padding would probably work. Alright, it's at this point that I would start taping. It does use a lot of tape, so it'll be in your benefit if you have uh, an athletic therapist or a trainer there who has tape, and, or your club provides tape, uh, so you don't have to spend so much on it. Another thing about Pro Wrap is that you want to cover, like I use, like to use it to cover my skin, just so I don't have uh, tape contact on my skin. That's mostly preference though, some people don't care. I do, I just don't want to be ripping tape off my skin, so Pro Wrap's good for that. Alright, so this is a bit of a rough job with the tape. Uh, I usually kind of like to cover, I will obviously cover all the metal, but for the sake of this video, and the sake of me not having to buy another roll of tape for my next practice, I'm going to kind of leave it at this. Again, you're going to want to cover the edges as well, very important. And your fingers are also encased in the tape, so they're not going to slide or poke out. Another benefit to this brace. And when you tape, make sure, especially when you cover the metal, that you cover the edge entirely and above the edge, because if you only just do the edge but not above it the metal has a tendency to slip out over time so really make sure you kind of overkill it on the tape but anyways guys that is my video on uh, the brace that I found that worked for me after lots of trial and error uh, if you have any tips on how you protect your fingers it's going to be different in every sport of course and in my this is what worked for me in a contact sport I can vouch for it for sure um, over time the metal got weaker I had to buy another one but again they're only three dollars so, yeah, anyways, I hope this video was informative to you guys, and if you liked it, give me a like, and a subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Class next out.